Number one, the records that you create belong to your agency, not you. We create and use records including paper and or electronic, and yes, this includes email and perhaps social media as part of our jobs with the agency. So the records belong to the agency, not us as individuals. Number two, you are responsible for managing your records. Among your other responsibilities as a federal employee, you also need to properly manage your records. These records must remain both accessible and readable throughout their entire retention period. This includes proper arrangement, access, protection, and final disposition. Number three, records retention is governed by your agency's retention schedule. You may be wondering, how long should I keep the records that I create and use? Look to your agency's records retention schedule and or your office file plan for the answers. And very importantly, once the retention period has ended, records should be disposed of promptly and appropriately. Number four, you need to be aware of your agency's FOIA Privacy Act requirements for your records. Federal agencies are accountable to the public and the records that you create and use may be requested for viewing under the Freedom of Information Act, FOIA. On the other hand, if you work with confidential or sensitive information, your records might instead be non-releasable under the FOIA or Privacy Act. Connect with your agency's information management resources to determine how these laws apply to your records. Number five, you have resources to help you manage your records. As a federal employee, you are not alone. All you need to do is identify your local records management contacts, your regional resources, and headquarters records management staff. Also, talk with your colleagues and predecessor if available. And for federal-wide guidelines, and even some historical inspiration, check out the website of the National Archives and Records Administration.